llamo Casta Samaripa y soy la candidata para representante estatal aquí en el Distrito 8. Nací aquí en este distrito y estoy tan orgullosa para representar mi comunidad latino y todos los que viven aquí en, en, en mi distrito. Um, hay muchos asuntos que, que están tan importantes a, a, a nosotros y un asunto que, que yo quiero luchar um, tan fuerte fo, um, por es la, la, um, el asunto sobre las licencias de manejar um, para inmigrantes indocumentados. Um, yo, fue, yo fui a hablar con mi senador Tim Carpenter el año pasado. Fui con un comité um, que, de, de Voz de la Frontera para hablar con mi senador. Y todavía no fue el, la ley um, para, para prevenir. Perdón. <risa> um, ok, hay muchos asuntos tan importantes para mi comunidad aquí. Y un, un asunto tan importante para mí es luchando para licencias de manejar uh, para inmigrantes indocumentados. Um, yo sé de que hay muchas um, personas que nomás quieren, que quieren trabajar y quieren cuidar para sus familias. Y por eso yo, yo sé que necesitamos licencias de manejar para todos, incluye um, inmigrantes indocumentados. Um, este es un asunto um, de, de seguridad del público y este es un asunto para mi comunidad latina. So, estoy lista um, para luchar para este asunto. Muchísimas gracias. Hi, my name is Jocasta Zamoripa and I'm a candidate running for the 8th Assembly District here in the south side of the city of Milwaukee. And I'm very happy to have met many, many voters at the doors these past few months. Um, as I've been campaigning, and it's been a wonderful experience uh, to get people's insight and feedback um, on how they feel about their government and about the political process. And I was very honored um, to have won the Democratic primary on Tuesday, September 14th. Um, it was the voters who, who, made, who are on their way to making history uh, by electing me the first Latina state representative in our great state's legislature. So thank you so much for all of the support that I received from the voters, um, from friends and family, from dedicated volunteers, um, from generous contributors. Thank you. I was born and raised here in the 8th Assembly District. Uh, my grandmother moved up um, to Milwaukee um, from Texas in the early 70s uh, because she was told there were jobs up here in Wisconsin. So she came up here looking for a better way of life for her and her family. Um, and so I grew up here and I was born here in the mid-70s. Um, and I am very happy to call the city of Milwaukee my home and very proud that I'm a lifelong um, resident here on the near south side. Um, I went to Catholic schools growing up. I went to St. Anthony's grade school right here on 9th and Mitchell. Um, I also, I went to St. John Antita High School. Um, and f I went to UW-Milwaukee and received a bachelor's degree um, right here, never left, um, always stay close to home, and I'm very proud of that fact. Um, when I heard that my state representative, Pedro Colon, um, after 12 years of service, decided to, was deciding to step down, I felt it was my responsibility to throw my hat in. Um, I felt strongly that I had the integrity and the sincerity and the strong, hardworking ethic, work ethic um, to lead us and I am ready to go to the Capitol um, and fight hard for my South Side District. So, the, so here we are in front of St. Anthony's School, which is where I went um, for grade school. And I graduated from eighth grade here back in uh, 1990. And uh, it, it still stands and is actually uh, very much a, a landmark and very popular school here in our district. So this is my home. Uh, my grandmother actually uh, bought this, purchased this home in the probably the very early 80s. And um, many of our family members have grown up here, um, including myself. And I continue to live here. I live here actually in the um, basement apartment right here. And I'm uh, very happy to say that we also ran our campaign out of out of my home right here. This was this is Ford with Jocasta headquarters. 
headquarters, although now we've moved um, and we, have, we are in a bigger space with all the Democrats on 8th and West Historic Mitchell Street. Uh, but this is my home. Welcome. I've knocked on a lot of doors. Um, we are about 14 days away from um, our November 2nd election day. Um, I get a lot of people that aren't home, but I also have some wonderful conversations. Um, some great voters here in my district. Uh, and I ask you if you live here in the 8th Assembly District to vote for me, Jocasta Zamoripa, on November 2nd. And I ask you if you live in the state of Wisconsin to make sure that you vote for Mayor Barrett for the governor of our state and for Senator Feingold for our U.S. Senator, as well as Gwen Moore for our Congresswoman. Thanks.